All right, guys. Tech Bravo back in the global shed quarters of Bravo Technologies. Uh, promised you guys a uh, ramp test. So I'm going to give you the down and dirty, quick and painless version uh, of a ramp test as I usually do it. Now, I'm hoping um, that I have better results this time. I started to make this video the other day, had a water leak. Uh, my microphones were horrible and um, a bunch of other stuff. So I've got my wireless lav mic on now. So hopefully that'll get rid of some of the uh, ambient noise of the um, air assist and, and such. But here's the way this kind of works. Uh, you may have heard people talk about a ramp test and I'm sure there's lots and lots of better videos on YouTube than this one. Um, but basically what the ramp test does is lets you draw some lines on a piece of material and you find the skinniest part of the line and then you measure from a set point on your head down to the line and that way when you go to focus on different height materials you can adjust your bed easier because you don't have to get the ruler out every time and uh, all of that so we're going to show you how to make a uh, jig um, to help you measure for that stuff so what is the focal point? I'm not gonna go into it really deeply because I have a beginner's level knowledge base article that, that kind of covers that stuff. But the focal point is the distance from the bottom face of the focusing lens to the center of the focal plane. Now the focal plane is the part of the beam that pretty much has exactly the same beam diameter or spot size. Um, and that varies um, on a on a lens with a focal point. This is a this is a 50.8 millimeter uh, focus point lens, which or two inches, which means theoretically 50.8 millimeters or two inches from the bottom face of the lens down to the work area or the middle of the work area, if you want to get technical, um, is the is the optimum focal point. So. We can measure and we can guess and you can take a q-tip and put up in your air assist and find uh, where the bottom face of your lens is or you can do a, lamp, a ramp test which will give you a visual representation and ultimately in a practical sense the best way to get the focus of your laser so let's just do it i uh already have one made here uh, and the idea is and, and and your laser might have come with one and i think the idea for those was to put it underneath the nozzle and lay it on the workspace and then let them meet and that's your focal point. Number one, don't trust the one they put in there. Uh, you need to make your own because things change, right? So it's a good thing to <coughs> check yours every once in a while and make your own. I don't like the idea, par partially because I have an automatic Z table, uh, a motorized Z table and sometimes it does stuff that I don't want it to do. I might turn the knob the wrong way or something like that or it may try to home uh, I don't like putting something down on the bed or the work area and having it between the work area and my head because if something does go wrong and I go up instead of down, I could actually bend this fixture or knock something out of alignment or something like that. I like to reference mine over on the edge, on the top edge of this frame right here. So let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, I got my little... Uh, interlock defeat tool here my little magnet so the laser will fire with the lid up and i'm going to start the air assist and the exhaust and we're going to run one and i'll make uh, uh I'll, I'll make a file where you guys can get this uh, if you want to use it however it's pretty simple i did five lines and um I have them at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 percent power, uh, and they're all at 100 millimeters per second speed. So it's just going to cut some lines. And you can see the dramatic difference. And I may have exaggerated the incline on this a little bit. But if you look, it's real fat on this side, real fat on this side, and skinny in the middle. You want to find the skinniest part 
the finest part of the line, and that's where you're gonna measure from. Then, you're gonna move your head over here near it, and measure from the skinniest part of the line, which looks like about right there, to wherever your reference point's gonna be on your head. And I wanna see if, if I'm anywhere close. I'm, I'm pretty close, of course, yeah, I'm pretty close. But anyway, you get the idea. After you measure, then cut you out a little piece of acrylic or, or however you want to make a gauge. And then from then on out, all you have to do is line your gauge up to wherever the reference point is. For me, it's flush with the top of that aluminum bracket. Uh, and then bring your material up until it meets. That is the purpose of a ramp test. And that little dude right there will allow you to pull your focus correctly on different height materials quickly without going through a bunch of stuff. So there it is, the ramp test, folks. At least Tech Bravo's version of it. I appreciate you checking in with me and watching. Uh, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date whenever I put some more crazy stuff out. From the Shed Quarters, Tech Bravo out.